what can we do to eliminate such such tragic losses? Well, uh, first we can have a uh, state law, state uh, model fireworks law for the whole state of Texas, which the law we have now is <clears throat> ineffective, it's weak, and uh, the uh, <clears throat> city ordinances are real good, but it's in conflict with the state because the state law says that you can possess and you can shoot Class C fireworks. And, uh, our and Class C being what kind of fireworks? This Class C consists of Roman candles and your so-called these bottle rockets, which is real popular among the kiddos, and uh, your small firecrackers up to an inch and a half in length, I believe. Now, I think that I'm entitled to my day in court to explain my position to the citizens of Dallas County why I think that the meeting was legal. You mentioned before that you thought perhaps a private citizen might file a complaint. Uh, do you have they any have specific to. knowledge of such? No, I do not. But uh, I feel like that uh, this would be a opportune time for someone to file a complaint. And I would welcome it, and this would also give me a chance to uh, appear and explain my position, which I feel like should be. Our boss, the fire marshal, Chief Guy Harbert, as a member of the uh, State Fire Marshal Association, has a resolution that they're going to introduce into the next legislature. Uh, asking them to consider it a model fireworks law, which will be a tremendous boost to us if this is passed. We were asked to perform only the role of uh, assisting in the funding of the program. Uh, raising some funds. This is uh, an over-the-budget item for the Dallas Chamber of Commerce as well as the police department. And so it would be a special project and we were asked uh, uh, if we would assist in the fundraising process. Just what is the goal of uh, the police department and yourself in this area? The goal is one of enhancing the police image, one of improving police recruiting, and one of raising the professional status image of the law enforcement uh, officer and field in general. Are you willing to let this thing just drop and now that it, they've dropped the complaint? I don't think so. I think it, we sh there's a few matters that should be cleared up, particularly if Mr. If the president of the uh, KERA knew what was going out over the uh, airways, libelous, vindictive, uh, I, I think the people should know that. Now, he did make in his statement that uh, perhaps they wouldn't file any more lawsuits. But he never did tell the people that they wouldn't permit these people to embarrass and harass and libel people. 
Well, they say they're just reporting. Would you want censorship of their reporting? I would not. I would not. All I would ask them to be honest. Berkeley apartment seems that it will fill a, a need that we've had here in Fort Worth for quite a while in that it uh, satisfies the qualifications for the uh, home for elderly people. It's centrally located in a business district where they can have facilities such as uh, uh, bus service, uh, church, uh, uh, stores and so forth that they, they need in their immediate community. And this seems to satisfy this. And also, uh, we need it because they, there's, there has been uh, a lack of uh, construction for apartments for people in this category in our area. So we, we feel like that uh, the Berkeley apartment will satisfy that need and also get it to a good use. There was some discussion today on the part of a gentleman who appeared before the council concerning the addition, perhaps, to this proposal for the handicapped of our community in Tarrant County. Yes, uh, he did think that uh, this would be a good idea, and so do we. We feel like that if it can be coordinated, that uh, from a technical point of view, that it would be workable. Uh, maybe two or three floors could be uh, divided away and used for the handicapped people, and uh, the rest of it perhaps used for the the elderly people. Well, as you know, Art, it came about rather suddenly. Uh, they received it last Thursday. It was placed, it wasn't in our pre-council packet. We got our first look at it this morning. Uh, certainly, I'm not against spending $108,000 to help the youth of our community, but my main concern, of course, is that the money be actually spent to help them. Uh, if it was already determined that we were going to use this money for employment for the young people for the summer. Uh, I could go along with that, but I can't go with an open uh, request for $108,000 without knowing where it's going to go.
no, uh, on motion of the uh, complainant, I've uh, uh, permitted them to withdraw the complaints. The cases will not be brought to trial, and their opinions are not a matter of record to me. Would it have been possible for them to, to formally ask that they be tried? Oh, I suppose it'd be possible for them to ask for anything, yes. Would it have been possible for you to grant this? Uh, it would be possible for me to grant this. I would not have granted it, however. I think people are entitled to know uh, from reading the press, Mr. Rogers called a staff meeting of newsroom. And I was wondering, uh, since Mr. Rogers read from a prepared statement, evidently, that's, and so did uh, Mr. Lear, if he knew that the uh, statements made by Mr. Lear uh, was as irresponsible and libelous and vindictive as statement that's ever gone out over the air in Dallas, Texas. Personally, I don't care, but I, I think the time is here when the people of Dallas County should be, uh, know just exactly what's going on in this great city and county of ours. You uh, thanked Mr. Cartwright and other board members. Have you and Mr. Cartwright and other board members been putting pressure on Mr. Rogers and Newsroom to I indeed have, put them off the air? I have not. I care anything about putting anything off the air. I do say that the uh, airway should be cleaned up, 